right, rise, shine, give God some glory on this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, coming street. Listen, this is Pastor E. Marcel Jones with the 60-second sermon. That's right, the only place where you can go and get a summary of yesterday's sermon in uh, 60 seconds plus a couple of minutes. Hey, man, thank y'all so much for jumping on this early. Listen, I wanted to take advantage of this beautiful scenery, this snow that we finally got. It's been, what, almost two years since we've had some snow, and here it is, we've got snow. So, Sister Newell, good to see you. Brother Phelps, good to see you, man. Uh, Sister Irons, uh, Ayers, uh, Sister uh, Ratliff, uh, look at Tan. Tracy, what's going on this morning? Uh, good morning to each of you, Nelson and Hudson, and uh, the rest of you all that are part of this Cumming Street family. Uh, thank y'all so much for uh, just continually sticking and staying with us uh, throughout this entire ordeal that we're in. Sister LaFleur, good to see you. Sister Roxanne Jones, Roxanne, Roxanne. Uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> Nikita Shiko, good to see you, Nikita. Oh, what's going on, God, daughter, Adair, and the Adair family? Good to see you guys this morning. Brother Westbrook, God bless you, man. Listen, let's get right to it. Uh, we, we, we had a great time on yesterday. On yesterday, we, uh, we had not only this tremendous praise from our praise and worship team, I'm telling you, they just went all in as normal as usual uh, and gave it like 110%. But God really showed up in the preaching as well. So I pray that something was said on yesterday that encouraged you, as the title says today, to keep praying, keep praying. Uh, basically, we came from Acts chapter 16, uh, right around verse 22, 23, 24, 25, and uh, all through 34. You go back and read it in your own time, but let me give you a summary of what happened. Essentially, what happened was Paul and Silas found themselves in Philippi. They were in route if you would on their missionary journey throughout all of greece and they were trying to spread the gospel uh, they, they end up in philippi and this young girl starts following them around and taunting them with this uh this saying that she kept saying which was these are the of the, uh, are the are the servants of the most high who show you the way of salvation and then she just kept saying it loudly and and just interrupting just trying her best to, to bring unnecessary attention to the men of God as they were trying to do God's bidding. Good to see you, Sister Tyson. And so as a result, Sister Turner, what ended up happening, uh, Brother Pierre Tillman, good to see you as well, man. Uh, what ended up happening was Paul got tired of the, the nonstop taunting that this young girl, who turns out was psychic, uh, had some powers that were demonic, if you would, and when he cast that demonic influence out of her, then the men who were pimping her, who were using her, her gift was being used. She was, her gift was being prostituted, if you would. Then their income, their source of income ended up drying up when he cast out that influence. She was freed, but then it caused problems otherwise. And so as a result, the men uh, and a mob, if you would, uh, started beating and stripping Paul and Silas of their clothes and beating them uh, with rods. And the Bible says that they had the magistrates to arrest them. And that's where the story begins. We find Paul and Silas in a jail cell. They are in prison. They are in chains. They are tethered at the feet. They are tethered uh, at the hands. And here it is. Uh, let, me, let me do something real quickly. I had to shut that because my, my computer on the side was getting snowflakes and it was sending me a message that it's getting wet. So I don't want, I don't want you to see something else happen that's not supposed to happen, <laughs> like electrocution or anything. Y'all, yeah, yeah, we're praying against that. All right, so as a result of that, uh, here it is, Paul and Silas could have had any kind of party, but around 11.50, 11.45-ish, uh, instead of them having a pity party, they decide to have a praise party. Oh, my God. Y'all, that was where I was trying. Y'all don't understand on Sundays, if we did have the congregation right there and you guys were feeding and I'm feeding and we're feeding off each other and the Spirit of God is moving, 
and the only thing that's uh, separating us is air. You know, right now, the only thing that separates us is just this screen. You know, I can't hear you. You can hear me. I, we, you know, we're, we're spirit connected, but that's, you know, and so I got to stay the course because I'm trying to make certain I stay in my time. And stay. But baby boy, when I'm telling you, if we were just in the sanctuary of the, of the Lord and, and everybody was feeling and hearing the word of God being preached and the praises going forth from, oh my God, it would be chaos church oh my god but listen 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 what ended up happening they decided they're not gonna have a pity party they decided they're gonna have a praise party and right there they said about midnight <laughs> oh my god oh my god somebody's in there about midnight moment right now about midnight paul and silas started doing two things they started singing praises hymns unto the god unto the god that they served and they started praying to the god that they loved <laughs> Oh my God, I'm trying my best, y'all. I'm trying my best. Listen, 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 Linda, listen, listen. They started praying and praising God, and the Bible says that the prisoners were listening. Oh, they didn't turn a deaf ear. They were like, they were like, uh-uh, I gotta hear this. What is going on? They probably were joining in. They probably had three-part harmony going on. Ain't no telling what was going on. But the Bible says something crazy. It says that the jailer was asleep. Because we know he was asleep because this mo the moment they started singing praises to God, God's power began to move. And when God's power moved in that place, it shifted and transformed. It transformed a jail cell into a church. Oh, my God, y'all. They, they transformed a jail cell, the jail, the entire prison into their own church. You understand? And then he began to shift the atmosphere, shifted it so that the foundations of the, of the prison were shaken. And when that happened, the doors flew open, chains fell off. And people were free at that point to go. That's when the jailer woke up and he's afraid. Oh, not on my watch. On my, not on my watch. He was afraid that prisoners were escaping Veronica, that Michelle Johnson, that, that prisoners were, were escaping. And what he found out was when he called out, brought the, brought the torch in, found out, Paul said, calm yourself, man. Calm yourself. Don't kill yourself over this. Because he was about to kill himself, the Bible says. And all of a sudden, Brian Woods, good to see you, man. He says... <laughs> We're okay. We're all here. We, we ain't going nowhere. And then the, the Bible says that the prisoner, the, the, the prison guard looked at Paul and Silas and said, hey, what must I do to be saved? I've been hearing y'all singing and praying and all. What must I do to get a little bit of, what can I do to be saved? Paul says, I'm glad you asked. The Bible finishes that whole passage by saying, that the man, the prison guard, took Paul and Silas into his home, cleaned up their wounds. Oh, my God. Cleaned up their wounds and then gave them something to eat. And the Bible says that Paul preached, Paul and Silas preached the gospel unto not only this man, but his household. And right there, Robin Clark Smith, <laughs> right there, he and his entire household were saved. <laughs> I said all that to say this. Keep praising God, keep praying to God, and keep preaching about God. <laughs> That's the three points from yesterday. You can take that for the whole week and work that thing. You got to make certain that every day you're praising God. You better give God the praise on this morning, Sister Landers. Shaquilla, good, good to see you, but you got to give God the praise, Sharon. Sister Plant, you got to give God the praise, Vanessa. You got to praise him for the things he's done, for the things he's doing, the things that he will do. He got to worship and praise him. They that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth and we do that every day we do that every day every second every minute every hour of the day i just keep on praising them you know so so he said not only do we need to keep on praising god but we need to keep on praying to god why do we keep praying to god because we know that that the story has not as bad as it may look uh uh, uh nj forbes as bad as it may seem uh sister bell for as bad as things may get guess what uh, uh, it's still 
God is in control. And so what we do is we learn to turn things over to him. We we turn stuff over. We say, God, I can't handle that. I, I, I'm going to let you have that one as well because God, I can't handle So God, show me the way. Get up in the morning and praise him for things that he's already done. Uh, and don't necessarily just ask him for stuff, but give him worship and adoration and just and glory for the things he's already done and doing in your life. And so, so, so learn to talk to God on a regular basis. It, I know we did the 40 days of prayer, but y'all should still, we should still be praying. I don't care what time, but you should still be giving some, giving God some me time, some knee time and some me time with God. That's right. Oh, I love that. You better, you better learn how to praise God, learn how to keep praying to God, and then watch this keep preaching about God. Oh, oh, God ain't called me to be, uh, no, nah, we ain't talking about this calling, because guess what? All of us have been called. When we, when we are called to salvation, all of us have been chosen to spread, open up our mouths and spread the word and proclaim the, the, the riches of God's glory through his son, Jesus Christ. Salvation, the good news, salvation comes from Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ. And so we've been called to keep on preaching you ain't got to tell them the exact verse and all that. You just got to open up your mouth and give a word of deliverance, a word of salvation to someone who may not know Jesus in the pardon of their sins, who needs to know him, who needs to be free, who needs liberty, and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And so we keep on, Jack Eternal, we keep on praising, we keep on, we keep on Sister Green preaching, we keep on Sister Banks, we keep on uh, uh, praying, praising, and preaching. And brothers, brother, brother Maddox, we just keep on doing it because guess what? As long as God gives us life, breath, and strength, we got to keep doing what God called us to do. And that's to seek and save those that are lost. And the people of God, <laughs> the people of God said, amen, amen. Listen, listen, I got to get out of here. I know I'm getting ready to make me a snowball, by, but I don't know. I, it might be a little bit. No, nah, this ain't enough to make a snowball. This dusting. But you know what? I praise God for the dusting, you know, because it's beautiful. It looks good. It looks good out here. And it's not sticking to the streets, so it's safe, you know. I know all y'all kept it. Somebody was praying last night for a snow day, but guess what? God had to show his own. He gave you your snow day, but he didn't give you your day off. <laughs> so you still got to go to work. So now, nah, you know, but no, 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 no. Okay, keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praising, keep preaching. It's gonna come. You gonna get your, you gonna get your blizzard. You might have to move to Chicago, but you gonna get your blizzard that you've been praying for. You know, you do your little snow dance, and that's fine. But, but, but when it's all said and done, God gave you a job to go to. So you praise God. God gave you the knowledge to be in school. So okay, praise God. So here it is, y'all. I gotta get out here. Y'all have been a beautiful blessing to me. God bless you, each of you, and your families as well. As always, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> I can get it off. I tell you, I can I can push it off with these gloves. I might just have to take it off, take my gloves off and do it instead of being